Monica Lopez. Thanks for joining us today. A recent outbreak of the ideologically known cowpox virus has emerged in a small town in England. With us reporting live from Waynesboro is our correspondent, Candy. Yes, thank you, Monica. I'm here in the town of Waynesboro, England, where a startling case of cowpox has emerged and has frightened the community. I'm here with local farmer Henry Weinhardt, who has had a recent encounter with the disease. Henry, can you tell us more about your story, please? Uh, well, you see, it all started the other day when I was going into my farm to uh, milk my cows. You know, I've got a lot of livestock in my farm. i got goats and, and sheep and, you know, little goats. And But then I went over to my cows because, you know, I, I had to milk them. And, and uh, my favorite one, you know, her name is Bessie. She's she's a good cow. She's nice and big. A couple years on her. But, so, um, after I was done brushing Bessie's hair, I got down because I had to milk her. And the, that's what I noticed. But look at this. There's some red spots on her udders. But, you know, I, I didn't really think nothing of it. I mean, I, I had a wife. I had kids to feed. So I, I just I milked her. And so... I was just going about my day a few days later and then I washed my, my hands and I realized oh look look at this I got red spots on my hands and and so you know I thought oh, Bessie and then I went to the doctor the doctor said I had cowpox C can you believe that cowpox from Be from bloody Bessie a cow gave me cowpox so a few weeks later I'm just you know sitting in my home and, and, and then all of a sudden I realized th it's, it's all gone there's no more cowpox. There's no more nothing on me ends, and 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 I said, and th and, th and that's that was it. You know, I I was. You see, that's that's the story. Thank you, Henry. Monica, back to you. Thank you, Candy. With us now is Dr. Virginia Keys, who has become an expert on this startling disease. Dr. Keys, what can you tell us about cowpox? Thank you for having me, Monica. This virus first emerged in the 1770s when a farmer, much like Henry, noticed some sores on the udders of his milking cow. The virus spreads through physical contact and it affects cats, cows, rodents, and humans. Clinical signs on animals include lesions on the teats and udders that will ulcerate and become scabs. Humans complain of symptoms such as fever and lesions on the hands and arms. In order to make a diagnosis, your doctor will perform a physical exam to look for the signs and symptoms of the virus. He or she will also perform a skin exam to determine if the disease is cowpox, since it can easily get misdiagnosed for other illnesses that share common signs and symptoms. Dr. Keyes, what treatments are used for the cure of this virus? There currently is no cure for the disease, but it is self-limiting, meaning that the body cures itself from the virus within a few weeks. Treatment includes the removal of scabs, followed by an application of an astringent disinfectant. What can we do to prevent the spreading of cowpox? In order to prevent spreading of the virus to other sites of the body or to other people, patients are recommended to wear bandages or wound dressings over the lesions. There's no need to worry though, because although one's common, cowpox is now extremely rare and is reported only in Western Europe, which is approximately 5,000 miles away. Thanks for joining us today, and remember, wash your hands after contact with animals. See you next time.